All right, guys, welcome back to another video on the super duper world of sports. This is top three week four fancy performances uh, for full PPR. Let's get into it. Fantasy quarterbacks, top fantasy quarterbacks from this week were Jared Goff, Geno Smith, and Russell Wilson. Jared Goff, the Detroit Lions, had 33.22 fantasy points, which is understandable. They put up 45 points against the Seattle Seahawks. Uh, speaking of the Seattle Seahawks, Geno Smith had 31.7 fantasy points in their narrow three-point win against the Detroit Lions. Two QBs from the same game uh, comprising the top two fantasy performances is definitely astounding. And at number three, Russell Wilson, in his game against the Raiders, had 27.48 fantasy points, his first true breakout game of the year. Fantasy running backs, uh, Austin Eckler in first place with 34.9 fantasy points, a great showing against the Houston Texans because it's the Houston Texans. And number two, Josh Jacobs, Las Vegas Raiders, had 34.5 fantasy points, finally went off like he is supposed to. Uh, thrashed the Broncos' run defense. Showed no mercy. 144 yards, two touchdowns. Career game for him. And number three, Miles Sanders had 29.6 uh, fantasy points, just short of 30. Very, very good showing from him, too, in the Jaguars game. Uh, what a player. Fantasy wide receivers, Justin Jefferson at exactly 31 fantasy points in London against the New Orleans Saints. At number one, he was the top scoring receiver from this week. Mike Evans of the Buccaneers coming off his suspension uh, with 30.3 fantasy points, finally putting up another great game uh, with Tom Brady. The repertoire with Tom Brady is definitely showing. And at number three, Cooper Cup of Los Angeles Rams. Which is that? That's expected. I mean, you you can expect Cooper Cup to be in there every week. Twenty six point two fantasy points. Uh, always targeted in the 49ers game, in their loss actually. Even without a touchdown, he still scored twenty six point two fantasy points. So that that really tells you something about how much he's used. T.J. Hawkinson of the Detroit Lions was the top scoring tight end this week. I think also the top scoring player. If I I'm right about that. Yes. Top scoring player in the entirety of the NFL this week, fantasy wise. 39.9 fantasy points uh, against a uh, shootout in the shootout against the Seattle Seahawks. Molly Cox of the Colts is an interesting uh, appearance there. He had 26.5 fantasy points against the Titans. Uh, he didn't really have that many receiving yards. It was just touchdowns, really. Uh, Matt Ryan went to him. Uh, Often, well and often, in the end zone. And number three, Travis Kelsey. Uh, he was number three last week as well. Uh, Kansas City Chiefs, 24.2 fantasy points. Uh, great showing from him as well against the Buccaneers. Fantasy kickers, number one, Greg Joseph, the Minnesota Vikings. Had a, a lot of opportunities to kick field goals in the Saint, against the Saints. And one in particular may or may not have won them the game. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so they did win on the last second field goal, 28-25 in the expiring seconds of the fourth quarter in London. Beautiful finish. Number two, Brett Maher of the Dallas Cowboys in their statement win against the Washington Commanders. 15 fantasy points definitely contributed a lot in their win. And tied for third, we had Daniel Carlson and Jason Myers of the Las Vegas Raiders and Seattle Seahawks, respectively. Both with 14 fantasy points, and Daniel Carlson has been the number one ranked fantasy kicker this season. And Jason Myers, uh, this week in particular, did good because the Seahawks put up 48 points. And lastly, fantasy DSTs, defense special teams. Number one are the San Francisco 49ers defense. They had 21 fantasy points against division rival uh, Los Angeles Rams. Debo Samuel owns the Rams, and the 49ers defense owns the Rams offense. That is how that works. No matter how many points Cooper Cup gets, they didn't allow a touchdown, and that is what gave him 21 fantasy points. The New York Giants at number two had 16 fantasy points as well. Uh, pretty... Pretty astounding. I mean, 
it's a great, great uh, statement win for them as well. And number three, Philadelphia Eagles. Uh, 15 fantasy points for them. They're, I think they're the number one ranked defense this season. Averaging 15.5 points per game is ridiculous. But yeah, not, they limited Trevor Lawrence has like he has been limited to last season. We saw last season Trevor Lawrence instead of uh, this season so far in the Eagles game. Uh, yeah, so that's it, guys. Thanks, Scott. Thank you for watching this video. I'll be back with more top fantasy performance videos down the line, and I'll see you in the next one.